from Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to Fearfully and Wonderfully Me, a podcast for women on leadership and life skills with Rhea Story. Rhea shares powerful life and leadership principles, helping you maximize your potential and become the woman God created you to be. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode on Can Leadership Be Learned? Mac and I were speaking a few weeks ago um, for an organization, and the group that was in the organization was a group of employees that had been selected um, to be part of a neat opportunity. This particular organization had uh, created an internal leadership development program, and they had chosen a group of employees, you know, all of whom had applied, but not everyone who applied got chosen or selected and for the opportunity. And this particular group, it was about 15 um, employees or team members from the internal organization across, you know, across the organization, very diverse group in terms of experience and job positions. And, um, and this group was going to meet once um, a one day a month for the next year. And so they're going to have the opportunity to come together and learn uh, more about the organization and the community, learn more about one another, but also learn more about leadership. And And Mac and I were there to really teach on the leadership um, presentation. So it was exciting because we also got the opportunity to be the first um uh, you know, of their sessions. So they were kicking off the the program with um, a session about leadership and leadership development. And so anyway, it was so cool because we got to go in. But, well, before we actually started speaking, the coordinator of the program passed out a couple of three by five cards to everyone and said, write down your top two leadership questions. And then she, you know, she had them write them, write down the questions and then she got the the cards back up. And then Mac and I did our presentation, you know, we spoke for several hours and the attendees broke for lunch. And then Mac and I sat down um, with them and we spent the next couple of hours answering their questions. Now, a lot of their questions we had touched on in the presentation, um, of course, but there were some really good questions that we really didn't talk about um, in the presentation specifically. And so we got to spend the next couple of hours just, you know, answering their questions um, and making leadership relevant for them and where they are um, in their leadership journey. So one of the questions, uh, well, I mean, there were some really great questions, and um, I'll probably do a couple of podcasts on some of the questions because, you know, I realize that um, if this group uh, of leaders and, and young leaders, they're growing in their leadership journey – regardless of their age, have some of the questions like this, then there are probably a lot of people that have questions like this. In fact, you know, as I read through the cards and the questions that they had, these are questions I had um, in my leadership journey at some point. So then it, I chose a couple of them and I thought, you know what, I would love to do a podcast on a few of these questions and just kind of really dig into some, uh, some questions I think a lot of people have about leadership. So the one I chose for today is um, the question about can leadership be learned? And um, I mean, I'm looking at the card here. It says, is leadership a quality everyone has or can it be learned? And, you know, that's it's such a great question because I think a lot of us, I think particularly as women, we have almost a, a, just a perception or an assumption that um you know, some of us are not natural leaders. I know I had that perception. You know, I didn't, at, at some point in my life, I didn't see myself as a leader, you know, especially if I wasn't working um, in a leadership role. I mean, no one, typically we don't think of, you know, someone waiting tables for $2.13 an hour as a leader. We might think the manager is a leader or the, the owner of the restaurant is a leader, but, but the waitress and so, you know, there was a time in my career I didn't I didn't see myself as a leader. But remember, we can define leadership as influence. Leadership is influence. Leadership is the ability to influence people. Now, every single one of us have some influence. And every single one of us want more influence. Because you think of any time in life when you are mad or sad or upset, it's never because you had too much influence in that situation. 
It's because you wanted more influence in a situation. And that that's what creates a lot of the frustration in our lives is we don't have the influence that we want. So when you think of leadership as influence, absolutely that can be learned. That can be developed. Now, sure, there are some people that may have more natural gifts in some leadership qualities. Mac, for example, is he's just a really great natural connector with people. And I've always been just envious of his ability to actually connect with people and, you know, quickly build a relationship and get to know people. And, and it's just, he's just naturally geared that way. And he has a gift in that area. Um, and I, on the other hand, don't have as much of that just natural ability and affinity to engage with people and develop relationships. And so, you know, I just, I recognize that that's a strength when it comes to influencing people. The ability to build relationships with people quickly helps you influence people quickly. And he's naturally better at that than I am. Now, having said that, I can tell you that I've absolutely gotten so much better at that particular skill. So maybe I wasn't as naturally inclined or gifted in that area as he is, but I've been able to develop that skill in myself. And so, you know, now I I don't even really think about it. It's just that every time I come in contact with people, I start, you know, just connecting with them and building a relationship with them. And, you know, I look back now and I realize how much that has helped me develop influence with other people. Just that ability to connect with people and build a relationship quickly. Um, and so now it's everyone, you know, from the the waitress at the restaurant uh, where I ate lunch um, last Saturday to, you know, people I might meet um, just in my the day-to-day course of business, you know, buying groceries and connecting with the, the lady who was uh, checking out my groceries at the grocery store yesterday. You know, and so There are so many examples of how we can develop our skills and our leadership characteristics. And so when you consider that, number one, leadership is influence. Number two, we absolutely can develop our skills at influencing people in a positive way. And when you consider that, then yes, leadership absolutely can be learned. Absolutely. Now, are there leadership qualities that everyone has? Well, as I touched on already, some people are more naturally gifted, perhaps, in some leadership qualities, but that doesn't mean that, you know, we can't improve on those qualities in ourselves. So, well, you know, you stop and think about that, then absolutely leadership can be learned. My ability to influence people is based on characteristics and leadership qualities, and I can get better at those. Now, here's the thing. Most of us are naturally better at some areas than others. For example, Mac is, you know, just the better connector. Um, But I've absolutely been able to improve that skill. Now, you might not have the same skills that I do or the same natural qualities or characteristics that help us make effective leaders. But every single one of us are, are gifted in some areas. So it's recognizing that we can be intentional about developing those skills, and that allows us to improve our leadership ability. Um, But it won't happen accidentally. You know, I talk about, um, you know, a lot of times I talk about, in fact, a blog I did the other day, women are more naturally high-level leaders because they are relationship-oriented, But just having a natural inclination as women to build relationships isn't enough, you know. We have to be intentional about developing those skills so that we can influence other people. And the 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 lady that or the woman that takes responsibility and says, you know what, I want to be intentional about developing my leadership characteristics, I'm gonna take that responsibility on. And so as we do that, we raise our level of influence very quickly. Um, I love, there was a quote by Rudy Giuliani, and um, he has a book called Leadership. And uh, one of my favorite quotes from the book is, more than anyone, leaders should welcome being held accountable. Nothing builds confidence in a leader more than their willingness to take responsibility for what happens during their watch. And, you know, he summarizes his leadership philosophy in two words and a sign that sat on his desk. I'm responsible. 
And regardless of, you know, your certainly your position on politics, it's his he's saying that leadership is coming down to saying I'm responsible. You know, if I'm the leader, then I'm responsible. And so as women, first we have to take responsibility for increasing our leadership ability, but it starts with influencing ourself more effectively. And, you know, because I guarantee you the person sitting in your chair right now, you have a hundred percent control over that person, you, yourself. And yet you are the most difficult person to influence, the most difficult influence person to influence. You know, we have complete 100% control over ourselves, but how hard is it to influence ourselves to always make the right choices and always make the right decisions? I guarantee you there are things that you think about now that you know you should do or know you should have done and you haven't done them yet. And so we are the most difficult person to influence. So, but the the more effective we are at influencing ourselves, the better we can be at influencing others because it starts with taking responsibility and ownership of influencing myself and then developing those skills that help me influence others. So absolutely, leadership is a quality that can be learned and everyone has some um skill or natural ability in different areas of leadership. So being intentional about that, think about your skills and your leadership qualities and identify which ones you are stronger in and identify those that that maybe you could need a little more help in. I talk a lot about the characteristics of successful women leaders in my book, um, Leadership Gems. And I'm just going to run down um, some of those characteristics for you. And, um, you know, there again, it's just increasing our level of awareness relative to ourself because that helps us increase our emotional intelligence. And that makes us more effective. So, you know, in the book, I talk about some of the, the top uh, leadership characteristics. And uh, there are 30 in the book. Now, are there more than 30 leadership traits? Absolutely. Absolutely. But nobody wanted to read a dictionary on leadership. So I had to choose just 30 um, for the sake of the book. But you know, I talk about some of the most important ones are being authentic. Um, And I think that's a challenge as women, we tend to put on a a mask and, you know, especially when things aren't going well. And uh, sometimes we aren't authentic in our day-to-day lives because we just kind of put up that front and, and that perception of having everything under control and being tough and having it together. But, you know, being authentic um, carries a long way when it comes to influencing people. Um, being proactive, you know, and we've talked about that in a lot of po- podcasts, being proactive and and taking that mindset shift to be proactive instead of reactive. Be responsible. Be positive. Be resilient. Be courageous. I was talking to a lady yesterday, and she said she had just finished reading my book, Leadership Gems for Women. And she said, oh, I love that chapter on being courageous because in my career, I've had to be courageous. She said, I can think of a time when I turned down a job opportunity. It was more money, but, but I, and I, you know, it was a good opportunity, but I knew that it was working for a leader who I didn't really respect as a leader. And, and, um, you know, he showed that side of himself and I really had to, it took courage to, to say no to that opportunity because I knew it wasn't going to be a good fit. Um, So some of the other characteristics I talk about in the book, being purpose-driven, being passionate, and being confident, um, you know, and then be disciplined. And so, you know, that's where we, uh, that's where we give ourselves a command and follow through on it. And, you know, discipline is a critical skill for leaders because, you know, there are things as women, as leaders, as successful people that we want to do that are going to come down to discipline, And developing our leadership ability might be one of those. You know, maybe you don't like to study and read leadership books, but but you want to grow in your ability to influence others. And so there again, you know, leadership qualities can be learned and can be developed, but it does take intention. It does take awareness. It absolutely does take discipline. Until next time. Start increasing your influence and maximizing your potential with Rhea's audiobooks. Available at audible.com, amazon.com, and iBooks.
Please visit RiaStory.com to learn about Ria's books, resources, speaking, and training programs. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.